they haven't scouted any of uh, a lot of the other opponents because yeah, nobody's been playing. So the strategy is to concentrate on themselves first. So with that in mind, what are you looking for in this in coverage of opening day for your Premier Volleyball League, the first professional league in the Philippines? That would have been illegal. Well, actually, it was illegal. Hit. Combination play and a gaping hole at the back. How many? 14. Banaga continues to serve. Sabete receives. Phillips in the middle. Easy pickings for Green Line. Nice block there by Reyes. Valdez tries to go for a faster attack. This one opens up. Phillips unable to keep it in play. That is the first bomb, I think, for the game. For Many time MVP Eliza near their training center so that she, they don't have to go far to go back and forth through their uh, their uh, training bubble, which is very critical at, at this point. 2015 is our score. Probably the biggest. Sabeta receiving. What was wrong there? Was that the set? Was it the reception to begin with? Starting with uh, the pass, but also the timing of uh, Kai. It's a little bit off here. Right. So we have another timeout here by Coach Urculio. It led to that play. From the back. Sabeta could not keep it in play, so Valdez. Match at 15 all. Look at the flight, the set, the finish. Valdez checked. Valdez again. But this one will roll out. 2017. It's the persistence that you need. Nina Puha first try. You try again. Look at that roll out. He's serving 17. Sabete receives. Phillips. Basang basan. Basang basan because you see that the you know first first um, problem that they have really is the pass and uh, Sheng would have to find a way you know just to set it up. Pero from uh, the PCV Social Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara, Ilocos Norte. Magandang gabi Pilipinas. Boong Gonzalez and Ramulia Kanda. Aitin Sai, by the way, who is the only. On cam talent there uh, in the venue. With See if they can. Yeah, right now, it's 3 0 though. Phillips. Go to the other side. Valdez. Phillips will keep it in play. So that's an easy over. 3 0 for Creamline. They go to Eliza in the middle and she puts it away. That's a play. That's the play right there. He not. Eliza did say that she misses the intensity, the personal intensity that Coach Tai provides in the training area that people do not see. Well, of course, everything is very different. The players, the coaches. You know, in this setup of uh, you know in the pandemic, there's a lot of adjustment that needs to be made. But I'm pretty sure because he coached like that, so much. So much. Sabi ko nga ten times better, no? Sabi niya ten times worse. <laughs> I was gonna say ten times more intense. Worse, worse, pala. Phillips trying to go cross court. Back line. The realtors have a little spring to their step here in this. Rally that they're in. They're in the middle of it. They're down three. They open up to Valdez. You need a point. Just could not handle it, Mika Reyes. Never play, yes. You know, you were speaking of um, Phillips being a bit casual or parang medyo relaxing. You know, another player on the side of the Lady Realtors is like that is Cheng. If right. you would recall, everyone smashers from, you know, getting in more points. Reyes and Troncoso complete the six. Still alive. Chance ball. Cream line will go to the number one option. And why not? That, uh, they need to tighten in the back row. She was there. Just lacked a bit. 
you said. They were very smart with their offense, really not about power, but finding those you know, good targets on the other side. But Eliza Valdez with some power on that one, so it bounces out. Team lead, the defending champions are smelling it, so to speak. As the sun fell.